Okay, so I'm Marcin. Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm working at Huawei, and today we would like to talk about OCI Image Compatibility Working Group. So, for those who forgot what is OCI, it's Open Container Initiative. Uh, basically, uh, it brings image spec, runtime spec, and distribution spec um, for the users, which means it describes you how to unpack the image, how to run containers, and how to distribute the images. So, before we talk about uh, the working group itself, let's quickly talk about compatibility and portability of containers because, believe me or not, but uh, people outside of HPC believes containers are portable, which is true until it's not. And we also at Telco and other organizations who require specific uh, OS configuration or hardware requirements um, basically face the same problem. That's why we decided to form this working group the last year. And we have to de we have to find a way how to define this image compatibility on the container side. For, for I mean, on the image side, and we have to support Linux, Illumos, and Windows, and the final list of supported fields like what kind of aspects of operating system and hardware we want to support has to be uh, determined by the working group. And finally, we have to bring <laughs> appropriate solution. So, if you have time, I suggest that you go through the proposal that has been uh, created under OCI that. Uh, that was voted by uh, Technical Oversight Board if we can create this working group or not. Uh, we were successful in there. So how this works today, how people define and check compatibility today with containers. First of all, documentation. People come up with the documentation and describe their special requirements for the containers, which is okay, but it's not good for automation. If you want to bring some automation base on some compatibility metadata, documentation is no uh, good uh, way. Then. The second point, attempt to launch and in case of failure, read the logs. I saw this the most common uh, in the companies I work for and organization I'm present in uh, because people just try to run containers, read the logs, try to reconfigure hosts, and there is this loop that people just do all the time. So I, I think it could be much better. And then finally, we have annotations that already provides information on the, on the container side. And speaking of annotations, once we were forming this group with Joe, we did some research and we found this uh, proposal from Christian about uh, HPC annotations, how to standardize this a little bit. So you have here some aspects of uh, hardware like CPU, GPU, and so on. Also some aspects of operating system uh, components, GDPC version, what kind of tools uh, you need. And it's, it's OK, it's great. But we need to take this outside of HPC and build this for everybody. That's why we need to come up with some kind of standardization under OCI. Uh, because as I mentioned on the previous slides, OCI kind of guarantee you portability today. I mean, in, in the way that, in the sense that it comes with image spec and container runtime spec. So you can run containers on container D and you can expect that they will run on Podman most of the cases. But we don't have this compatibility aspect for, for images. This is what, why we need to bring that. Once we combine those two things, we will make much easier supportability for everybody. And once we provide this information on the container side, we can cover many use cases, like grouping applications uh, to define kind of what kind of workload uh, the cluster will have, or configure the cluster, validate the new hardware and operating system in case of you need to expand your clusters, or migrate the workload, also improve scheduling. Vanessa was doing some experiments in there with some <laughs> successful results. And fail fast. Fail fast, I'm talking about this, what I see very often, that people just to attempt to launch and read the failure logs. I, I think we can do much better than that. And what's the current progress of the working group? Uh, we got the requirements, we wrote proposals, and we took a step back. Because under OCI, we thought, OK, let's bring some standards for that. Let's, write some, uh, re let's create some OCI tool that could be used for, by everybody. But since we're talking uh, HPC use cases are a little bit different by telco use cases and other, con con other um, organizations, right? It's a problematic because under OCI, then we would, we would create a kind of monster tool. Uh, we don't want to do it, at least for now. Maybe we'll go back to the idea, but, but right now we just want to focus on the standard itself. So what's in progress? We prototype potential solutions. Uh, I'm personally writing some uh, container D improvements uh, for image selection. Vanessa was doing prototyping with Flux framework scheduler using uh, artifact compatibility artifact. Uh, we have to gather OCI maintainers and community feedback, which is currently in progress, uh, especially the feedback from OCI maintainers. And then we can open a wide channel for community. And we are also in progress of writing final designs document. Uh, so 
I would say the outcome of the working group is that we have two main paths. First is the image compatibility, compatibility with image spec. We want to extend a little bit the image spec with new fields because right now how it works, uh, for example, the image selection algorithm for container D. You have platform OS and platform architecture and variant fields. And based on the spheres, you make image selection. And there was platform features field that has been reserved for some time already. And I think we could enable platform features and add one more field platform compatibilities that would provide you the like better experience. You would have more granular image selection. And you could put, I don't know, some compatibility metadata for, for your container images and so on. But it comes with some limitation because uh, there, a, there might be a problem if you want to put a lot of compatibility metadata into image spec in the index because of the size limit. So this use case is mostly for image selection. And uh, as, I, as there is a star, this is just a, a pro prototype, one of many possible solutions is an experiment that I'm running. And the second approach is to provide uh, a separate entity, which is artifact, and put all of the metadata in there. So we would have a compatibility artifact that you can use and point to a specific image manifest. And you could put a lot of compatibility metadata in there uh, with some context provided. So for example, if you have inter-CPU, you might require different kernel modules than on, uh, than on AMD CPU and things like that. And you could have different use cases like then image selection. You could use it for cluster provisioning, configuration, or uh, schedulers as Vanessa was doing. So basically, from my side, that's it. Uh, I would like to invite you to, to use express your opinion. You can join our Slack channel, Google group, and GitHub. So yeah, basically, that's it. And I encourage you to join the discussions. We have weekly meetings on Monday. Cool. Thanks, Martin.